It took me two decades after the abuse to find a way to do climbing that was right for me. When she was a young girl, Sophie Vivian trained as a gymnast at the Australian Institute of Sport in Canberra. But after years of alleged psychological and physical abuse there, she quit and then excelled in a new and exciting sport. I loved climbing. I've never done anything else with my body that I love so much. It was the late 90s and with her gymnastics background, Vivian excelled at climbing. I competed here and internationally for Australia. As did Libby Hall when she came to the sport a few years later after also quitting gymnastics at the AIS. I wanted to be world champion. I wanted to be the best I could be in my sport. The two were convinced to take up the sport by a coach who they said claimed to work at the Institute of Sport. His name was Stephen Mitchell. He seemed to know everybody, particularly at the AIS. He seemed to walk in and out of there, you know, as he pleased. Mitchell's CV states that he worked at the Institute from 1996 to 2002. He wore AIS branded clothing and took his climbers to parts of the Institute that were off limits to the general public. We would go to the athletes uh, spa and sauna section um, and also the, the actual gym. Mitchell formed a team of climbers in Canberra. For the former elite child gymnasts used to harsh discipline, Mitchell was a breath of fresh air. He took us to KFC and always had lolly snakes for us. It was grooming. It's almost textbook. Jesse Orrell was another elite ex-gymnast who joined Mitchell's climbing team after meeting him at the Canberra PCYC. He liked to touch my body a lot. Um, he liked to feel my muscles. He looked like he was going out of his way to become our friend. Work his way into our family, gain our trust. All three women won Australian junior climbing titles in a period from the late 90s to the early 2000s. And in 2005, Hall achieved her ambition, winning the junior world championship. But she was horribly torn. She alleges Mitchell sexually assaulted her multiple times from when she was 12 to 15. I knew it wasn't right. It didn't, it didn't feel right. The other two women also allege Mitchell sexually assaulted them when they were girls. I was at his house, sleeping there, and pretended that I was asleep, and he assaulted me. It would happen um, pretty much every time we went away together, which was frequent. Vivian has done a master's degree in neurology, specialising in trauma and believes it's no accident that Mitchell allegedly targeted the former gymnasts. The coach is a god and, and you can't say anything wrong against the coach. So yeah, absolutely. And he knew that, that's why he, that's why he preyed on gymnasts. It wasn't like complaints weren't made, they were. We rang the police straight away. And what happened? and they did an interview with her. There wasn't enough evidence to do anything. So nothing happened. At the time, Mitchell was working here at the PCYC in a job funded by the Australian Federal Police. The ABC's been told he resigned from the position at about the time Jessie Orrell made her complaint to the police. Mitchell was referred to ACT Policing's Professional Standards Body, but after a period of time, the investigation was dropped. The ABC attempted to contact Mitchell, but he didn't return our calls. For years since, the women say they've suffered. It's affected me a lot. Oh, my whole life, I've struggled with depression and anxiety. He took away the one thing that I loved as a child and still, he still takes that away from me today. 
I still carry a, a deep sense of shame about it. And that's, um, that's not fair. The ABC asked a series of questions to ACT Policing, which ran the PCYC and the AIS, but both declined to comment. The women are taking legal action against ACT Policing, the AIS and a Canberra gym. Kids should be able to go to these institutions and, and play their sport and have fun or take it as seriously as they want to, but still be protected. And that's why they're speaking out now. To be heard, to be recognised, to be listened to. I want them to hear our stories. I want them to know what happened because I don't think we're going to get change until they'll, they'll hear us out.